Hey, what's up everyone, Omar here. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through my process on creating a fully responsive Wix Studio e-commerce website by starting from one of their wireframe templates. This allows you to efficiently build websites by simply customizing the existing layout and content without having to get lost in all of the more advanced features within Wix Studio. So it's perfect for people with less technical experience. I believe this process is both great if you wanna get a project launched faster for a client, or even if you're launching your very own new business. In this video, we'll cover the following. Picking the right Wix Studio template, designing an e-commerce brand within 10 minutes with no design skills, adding your brand colors, fonts, and logo, customizing the template's content and components, and setting up your e-commerce store product gallery. All the files you need are in the description below, so let's go. All right, so as you can see, we're inside of my Wix Studio workspace, and as per the purpose of the video, we're gonna start from a template so we can finish the project a lot more efficiently. So let's hope we achieve that and now of course this is great for you guys if you're slightly less technical and you don't want to be bogged down by the advanced properties and features of wix studios editor this is a great option because you're simply choosing a template and customizing the pre-existing components and truly making it your own for your particular brand right so uh, let's go ahead and choose create new website in the top right hand corner and from here we'll go ahead and choose start from a template Great, so as you can see, Wix Studio provides a range of beautifully designed website templates. However, um, yeah, there is a few e-commerce uh, options as well. As you can see, beauty store, fashion store, these are great. However, for this particular project, I'd like to start from a wireframe instead. Um, so wireframes are templates that are essentially empty. They don't have any theme or style applied, thereby giving you more flexibility to explore the style within the template and not locking you down essentially into a particular theme or style. So the, I think they only have one e-commerce wireframe template. I'm sure they're gonna keep populating this library, uh, but they have a range of other templates as well, like landing page, agency portfolio, etc. Let's go ahead and choose and preview the e-commerce wireframe template. Beautiful header, and we've got a nice clean navigation menu, we've got the section for the business name or the logo, and right there below that, we have a featured product section. Awesome. Uh, we have some brands. We have the About Us section and some benefits. Nice little beautiful interactions, very smooth. Let's check the iPad size of this. In fact, what I'll do is I'll refresh and just feel, see how these layouts come together in the iPad. So very seamless, you know, the very, very perfectly mobile responsive is what what i expect because um you know actually that's quite a time saver right you don't have to recreate it, the the whole mobile responsive side of things as you would do if you're starting from scratch which is a headache honestly so off the bat these layouts are fully mobile responsive which is a super ideal and there's so much room to customize of course you know these are just simple layouts that are pretty you know, standard that you'll find in a lot of websites. We're gonna go back to desktop and try and check out these other pages. So we just explored home, just check out the shop page. Great, so the shop page has these great filters to browse by category, browse by price, and different options available here. And here are the product items. Let's pick one product item and see what the product page looks like. So you have a nice little product gallery, beautiful animations applied already to this. So essentially this whole thing is good to go. About us page and finally a contact page. And then we've got a cart experience over here, which is really great. You know, that's one thing that Wix is just amazing at is that it's whole business solution ecosystem. You know, if you want to make a web membership site, you want to make an e-commerce website, it's got all of those options available for you built in out of the box, right? So let's go ahead and choose edit. All right, so we're inside of our e-commerce uh, wireframe template. Now, for those of you guys who are new to Wix Studio, I definitely recommend watching all of their tutorials, which is available at the bottom left-hand corner. Super convenient. If you click this icon, you'll get access to all of their basic tutorials. It shouldn't take more than an hour, if that, to get through all of them. They're about three minutes long each, but this will allow you to familiarize yourself with all of uh, Wix Studio's features and the how to kind of navigate through the entire editor, right? So once you're done watching these, then continue following my tutorial. Now, the second thing is that if you want to access more resources and training, you can simply go to the bottom and choose Wix Studio Academy. If you click that, that'll open up um, 
this resource center, we have webinars, more tutorials, community, and the list goes on. So everything you need will be available here. All right, so let's go ahead and explore the e-commerce wireframe template. So I click the top there, you notice we have a navigation bar. I believe this is a global component. Yeah, as you can see, we've got this selected. So typically global components are used for headers and footers so that they're sort of duplicated across the entire site. And just below that, we have a top fold uh, full width banner. Not a huge fan of these type of layouts for uh, full HD banners because of the text overlaying the image. It's okay for fashion, e-commerce sites, and other specific product categories. However, for our product category, which I'll reveal in a moment, it would be better to have a more focused image on the left and the text not overlaying it on the right. Uh, and then below that, we have a best sellers featured product section, which is pretty typical. We have a brand section. I don't think I need that, so I'm going to select this selection and delete it. And then we have a about us section. Again, I might delete this. I'll return to it because we have a dedicated about us page. And below that, we have benefits, the featured product section, which we saw earlier, and the footer. Great, very simple template. We can go ahead and start customizing it. For this tutorial, I've created a concept e-commerce brand called Space Lamps. This brand essentially creates beautifully sculpted lamps in the form of rockets and spaceships, as you can see. So I've got the images ready. Now, of course, you would need a design tool to prepare all of your product imagery, your banners, your colors, your logos, all of your brand assets that you need. For this particular tutorial, I'm going to be using Glorify. Now, of course, you can use any design tool you prefer. It's up to you. There's plenty of design tools that allow you to create graphics efficiently without having necessarily having any design skills. Glorify is one of them, but I will tell you, take that with a pinch of salt because uh, I am biased since I am the founder of Glorify as well. So use any tool that you wish, but the process is still going to be the same. We're going to be creating our brand, the colors and preparing them, then preparing our product imagery as well as any necessary banners for the website. Let's jump straight into it. Now I've got my uh, images ready and I'm gonna drag and drop all of my images inside of my Glorify project. That's one cool thing about Glorify is that uh, you can add all of your product images with this, just dragging them into an infinite canvas and having the sort of free workflow in uh, this space. So it gives you a lot of design freedom versus having one canvas at a time. <clears throat> and okay, so let me just add these images side by side and organize them so I know what I'm doing. Now, first things first, let's organize our product images. The best way to do this on Glorify is drawing a canvas and I'm going to make them sized 1080 by 1080 is an optimum size for product, most product imagery. You can go a little bit larger if you prefer. And we're just gonna start to drop the images in so that they all have the consistent size, all of them, because I've downloaded them from uh, different sources so they might be different and varying in size and this allows us to also position them accordingly so i'm going to hit shift r on my keyboard drag rulers into my canvas and drag them into the canvas so i can snap center these rulers so i've got a grid to follow and i want the aim is to center up these images nice and big and fill up the space but also keep it nice and centered All of my product images are completely organized inside these canvas items and that allows me to just have more control. I know that when I export them, they're all gonna be the same size and that's exactly what I wanted. Now, the next part is to hide the rulers, shift R, and we're gonna draw a canvas. Well, these are the canvas I drew earlier. They're sized in different uh, ratios so that I can add the color palette. The way I like to do the color palette is choose the rectangle tool. I'm gonna draw a nice little slab over here and we're going to duplicate it five times there we go and we're going to take these and we're going to stretch it out so that it fills this entire canvas now next up we're going to select each one of them and give it a unique color now the significance of this you'll see in a moment but i've got my color palette ready here we just have to customize it to get the right look as mentioned this brand is called space lamps so i want to find an appropriate logo design um, you can craft a logo in the logo if I have you wish. Uh, we're going to have logo templates soon in the template section. However, for now, the best way to do it is go all the way to down the bottom and we have libraries where we have typography templates. And within headers, we have logo like templates. They're great for like showcasing headers for your marketing um, campaigns. 
and here I'm sure we'll find something appropriate. So I'm just looking down, let's find something that looks futuristic and you know what, I think this one looks quite nice. I'm gonna drag and drop that right in there. Great, so that gives me a nice little, definitely beautiful font, thick, bold, looks very like futuristic, full of energy. Uh, I'm gonna ungroup this, I'm gonna delete that layer. And in fact, I don't think we need the second layer, we'll just type space lamps and we'll highlight the last text and give it a unique color. Great, so that's our brand. We also could give our brand a icon if you wish. So let's go ahead and find an icon. Got icons from different libraries. Icons 8 is great for this. I'll type rocket, see what we find. Ooh, there's a 3D one here. Let's just drag and drop that one and see if there's any other ones around. That one's pretty cool though, I have to say. I think I might just stick to that one. It's got beautiful details. I think it's a no-brainer. Let's go ahead. Awesome, so I'm gonna fill that up. Let's make it a bit bigger than the actual text. There's our logo. Now we just have to get balance inside here. I try to use rulers tend to snap inside the canvas so we can get some balance visually. It's a good way to see is the logo balance, is it even? Does it occupy a good amount of space within this canvas area? Let's make it a bit tad smaller and a bit, a bit higher. More or less the same gap from here to here. Yeah, great, there's our logo. Now, to prepare my colors, what I typically do is I select the colors and I go into libraries and we go on the basics, we choose color palettes and explore these categories. I think I'll go for something a bit more retro because there's something retro about this. And um, we just want a hot orange with some complementary colors. Let's see what we have here. Oh, this one's interesting. Let's give this a go. So selecting the color palette blocks, we're just going to remix this until we get the right blend. Yeah, I think that looks about right. That's what I was expecting. I think we can change this to a lighter version of that. Much lighter. Great. So now we've got our base color and we'd be good to have a darker version as well. Control R, turn off rulers, and we're gonna select this text. I think the red, yeah, really pops. So there's our brand. So we were able to create a new fresh brand, e-commerce brand uh, within a very short space of time. It's now time to apply the theme of this brand into our e-commerce uh, template. Let's go ahead and do that. So going over to our e-commerce template, you can find the color styles on the left-hand side, on the site styles, and we'll go into colors, we'll change typography after this, and we'll go ahead and edit these. So the first thing is background and text. I believe the best one for that is this lighter color that we have here. Copy the color code, paste it in. Great, looks great already. Let's go ahead and pick a few more colors. So there's this orange one, which should be our primary, I believe. So we'll use that for our action colors. Fantastic, and then we have more colors which we can use as miscellaneous across these. I'll pick the green. Now the good thing is that Wix is already creating some shades for us. So as you can see, we had all of these uh, different colors, but we might not need the darker version of this, nor do we need the darker version of the lighter color. We've sort of produced it automatically. There we go, I think that's not too bad, however, Seeing the background being applied in this context, it's still a bit too beige. I wanna lighten it up. So I'm gonna make those edits directly. That's a lot lighter. And yeah, it doesn't look too um, sort of like strong on the background, which is good, it's what I was hoping for. Now we're gonna start by customizing our header. So the first thing we need is the logo. We don't need this of course, but we do need it to export our logo. So we'll go ahead to glorify and export this logo as PNG transparent and the size is okay. So I'll just keep it as PNG transparent and download. Now, even though there's a background color here, since it's applied to the canvas level, when you download a transparent image on Glorify, it becomes uh, transparent. 
So from here, what I'll do is delete business name since we don't, won't be needing that. I'll go to plus and we'll chuck an image inside there, scale it so it fits in nicely and scale it horizontally and center it up, center it up. We'll choose change image, upload media, and let's go browse for that new logo. There it is. Fantastic. So I'm going to upload that. Looking great already. Now, the background of this can be a bit darker, so we'll go ahead and try pick the, the green or one of these dark colors should make do. This one is a bit more neutral, so I'll go for that one. Otherwise, the red one is just way too strong. Fantastic, this is looking great. I'll choose the menu and we need to make these a more contrasting color. So over here, what do you want to design? We'll choose this drop down and pick menu items. Go to text and text color. As you can see, it's very easy to customize these things. We'll choose the lighter version and the menu state. We'll choose the hover version and make that a different color. And finally, the current page color, I want to make that this, the main primary color, which will really contrast it and highlight it when it's active. Great. So that's looking good. So as you can see, we're on the home page, and that's the only menu item that is highlighted. Uh, next up, we want to customize the shopping cart. So again, let's go to our layers panel and make sure we're selecting it. So we're in the stack, which is like a container underneath that. There's a login bar. We'll start with the login bar. So for the login bar, you've got backgrounds, which is something we don't want to customize. What we want to customize is the notification icon can be our new brand color and the text is fine. Let's go up here and switch to hover and go on the text. Members name can be light and drop down link menu. We'll go for since the link. Ooh, that's not going to work. Let's just choose. In fact, yeah, that looks fine. So there's the drop down link items, which is this bit here. I think that requires a customization, which we'll figure out in a moment because I don't like this boxy style. Um, drop down link item again. Okay, wait, that's oh, that's the selected version. So the selected version will make it orange. Fantastic. That looks good. Okay, now going back to regular, let's see if we can customize the shape of this. So there's drop down. This is what we want to customize position or oh, let's go to corners and see okay there you go so on the corners we have the exclusive property for avatar and drop down is what we want to adjust the drop down is this bit here we're going to do 16 pixels bit two round let's try eight fantastic and now i want to add a shadow it's really simple to do these controls as you can see the controls available here just switch these toggles up uh, so that's the wrong one. I think we want to do it on the drop down, which is this heading here. There you see the drop shadow has been added. I'm going to add some about 12 pixel distance or less. Let's do it maybe 10. We can always type the value in here if we don't get it right. Size zero is fine. Uh, we're going to go all the way to 20. Nice and soften it up. And this will choose our main color, which is this dark version here on, on the lights and we'll change this to around 20%. So you got this beautiful soft shallow shadow that kind of falls down, right? That looks really nice. Great, I'm really happy with that. Now, the only thing I'm concerned about is the avatar and icons and things like that. I think should be maybe white or red, one of these colors for sure. Um, other than that, all this stuff looks fine. I think member's name could should be dark. Oh no, it should be light. Yeah, no, because that'll be on the menu area. Uh, okay, I think this is good. Let's go for the shopping cart. Uh, sorry, the cart icon, the login bar. We just did the login bar, we'll go to the cart. Now the cart, I don't think you can customize it on the inspector. We have to go to settings. And then here you've got this pop-up where we can customize it. So again, same thing here. The icon color will go for red as the main brand and then you've got other settings here that you could set up if you wish i'm going to keep it the standard and i'll just go for the default icon i mean i can go for these other icons too but i think this is good enough um number yeah this is all good happy with that now let's go ahead and just see if all of this is functional just in case i'm going to publish the site 
always good to double check as you get through different milestones on the site. Not bad, not bad. Now, of course, we have to also add our textiles, which is really critical. So I'm going to go over to our textiles and start adding our typography. Now, if you recall our logo design in Glorify, we actually use the font Anton, regular 400 and uh, italics. So we want to use the same font for at least our headers on our Wix site. So let's go ahead to the editor and here's our typography. These are the font styles. Uh, these are the default headers. Of course, we're going to change this to Anton and italics and apply. And we're going to do that across for all the different fonts available. Great, so we added Anton to all of our headers and you can see it start to distribute across all our header font in the site. Looks great, looks super branded already just with these basic foundational uh, styles added to the site. Now, the paragraph font, I'm gonna stick to the default ones over there. It's pretty standard. It's a basic sans serif font, which I'm happy with, but we're essentially ready to start applying the uh, graphical content in the website itself. Now, before I finish, I just, as mentioned, when I was exploring this template, I love this template overall, but I'm not a huge fan of the header layout. So I'm gonna use something different. And that's what's really cool about Wix Studio is that you have all of these predefined sections already available within the ad menus. Go over here, sections, and we wanna add a welcome section for the top fold. There's a bunch of one, different ones that we can use for e-commerce site. This looks pretty cool. This is great. I just want a image that is not being overlapped by the font. Actually, you know what? This one is quite nice. Now to do this, we're gonna simply click and drag it to the section we want. Great, there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this since we won't be using it. And there's a button with our text. Just make sure that we're using the right theme, which is heading one. And there we go. Now, we wanna add our first product imagery over here. It needs to be powerful and needs to captivate the audiences for sure. We could use an existing one. However, I wanna try design one that's fresh from scratch. Um, I mean, some of these are pretty cool for sure, but let's see what we can get. So I'm gonna go and choose libraries and go for template. I actually have some HD banners available in Glorify. Choose this category here. As you can see, tons of templates available. I want something that's more to do with space. So I'll try and see the keyword dark if it works. Ooh, some cool ones here. Let's try this one. This could potentially be useful. It's got some interesting smoke in the background. Perfect, let's go ahead and delete all these elements. We don't need this. The text is already on the website, so we won't need that. And there's a nice little surface here as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, great, okay, so next up, let's go ahead and add our spaceship. So I'm gonna use this one. This one's very compelling. And I'm gonna remove the background. You can do it from this button, but I'm gonna, I just click this one, which will call the background removal tool. Seamless background removal looks great. We'll go ahead and click done. Gorgeous. Now we're gonna scale this down and make it sit right there. Um, you can make this a bit smaller, in fact. Yeah. Since it needs to fit in this section, uh, what does it need to fit? Yeah, it needs to fit on this section right here. There's plenty of room, so we want it to be a bit more horizontal, it seems. Now, the other thing I wanna try to do is add a bit more glow. So let's try and do that. We can take a shape like a circle and send it to the back, right click, send to back, and then from here we'll use gradient. Radial is what we want make this the same color as the fiery orange over there and same for the outer color and the outer color we want to drop the transparency all the way to zero and let's make this a little bit part, like the brighter yellow that's available here great that looks good uh, i'm going to lock the product image layer and i'm just going to play with this for a while i want to add a few more effects Let's lock this layer and we'll go over down to what well, we have effects over here, which is really cool. We've got like smoke layers, fiery layers, and all kinds of stuff. I wanna use something like flares and light for this one. Let's try and use this one perhaps. All right, so I've got my sort of glow effect that I was looking for. I now wanna give the 
private image a drop uh, a ground shadow so go to shadows and reflections choose ground shadow adjust the y values and blur this out great so i got my product image ready i'm happy with that i'll go ahead and export it fantastic let's head over to our wix studio site and we'll pick the image and there we go so we can use the change media option over here upload media and there's our image fantastic click update it's a bit large let's try and scale it down all right cool so there's our product image we've got our header ready now i want to make um, this top fold section darker so that it kind of uh, contrast with the sections below and it'll just make the lamp feeling stand out a bit more um, so we're gonna go ahead and try and pick this section so from the layers panel we'll choose a section and from the right hand side background color I'll choose my darkest looks pretty good I think this dark color could get darker so let's go into our styles and go back to colors and make this a bit darker Ooh, too dark now, of course, this text is now going to have to become lighter. Change this text to heading six. Go to hover state. To change the actual text of the button, we have, well, while selecting it, we have to do it on the contextual menu. And over here, you can see we can change it. So we'll go to check checkout store. Yeah, looks great. So I'm really happy with this top fold. Looks super on brand. Looks clean with a little bit of customization. Look how far we can go with a wireframe template, right? It's just really about populating with your own content. That's as simple as that. Now, the best part is that you can use Wix's integrated AI to come up with titles based on what your brand is about. So let's try it out. So I'm gonna select this title and use create AI text. We'll add some information about our business. Spaceship like lamps, space lamp. And we'll come up with a title for a welcome. Create text. Let's see what options we get. Light up your universe with space lamp. I love that. Experience the future of lighting. Discover a world of illumination with a space lamp. I love this too. I mean, these both of these are really good, but I love the universe connotation here, which really kind of uh, sits nicely with the whole space uh, theme. So let's go ahead and use this. Fantastic. Just clicking use text. It just replaces it. Light up your universe with space lamp. In fact, I'll change universe with cosmos that's a bit more powerful right um, and then here we can do the same thing ai spaceship like lamp we'll use paragraph this time and we'll do welcome and see what's important to mention and do it create text oh this is nice if for some reason this text not copying over so i'll copy to clipboard and paste it right here great that looks good let's cut it up to here there we go. Nice little subtext there for my top fold. Super happy about that. Now we've got the top fold ready. We're going to go straight into the featured e-commerce section. So to do this, um, we'll prepare the product images. So we've got everything ready on Glorify already. So we'll just select all the product images that we have here and we'll hit export. Now we'll do export based on selection. You can see 14 canvases selected, which is all of these and PNG is fine. Go ahead and click download. Okay, so I've got all my images organized ready. I'll head over back to my Wix site and it's time to add the product images. To do this, I'll click this product grid over here, double click the product card and you can see on the contextual menu, we can choose manage products. If I click this, it's gonna take me to Wix's native out of the box inbuilt e-commerce management system. This is really awesome. As you can see, you can you have all these placeholder products already as part of the template. You can add new products. You can edit these products. We'll choose the top product over here and click it. And just like that, we have an entire product page for this particular product, product item. You can customize the images, the product info. You can use AI to craft product descriptions. It's just extremely powerful, right? So you've got all of your control out of the box inside of Wix. And I think that's what's really powerful about Wix Studio is that all of these business, business management features from e-commerce to membership sites to uh, you know, service sites, you know, you've got all of your business 
systems inbuilt, right? So we'll go ahead and start populating the uh, images and content for this product. So I'll choose the main image. I'm uploading all of my product images at once just to make it easy. All right, great. So we've got all our images uploaded. Let's start by adding the main product, which is this one over here. So we choose the one with the burning, um, so the la la lamp lit up. Now let's go for the blank one as it's the main product grid. And we'll go for the secondary image as the non-lit one and the third one as the one in a actual space. So we'll call this rocket, rocket shit away. Try to generate AI tech. So the main name of the product is product ship away. Um, kids spaceship like lamp during liftoff. Let's try that and see what happens. It's got a bunch of nice little text options over already here describing the product pretty accurately. I'll go ahead and use any of these, honestly. If your child dreams of exploring, I think that's the most powerful story driven one. So I'll go ahead and use that. So off the bat, you can just get, get your product descriptions ready in no time with AI. Um, let's add the rest of the products. Okay, I've done uploading all of my images. I just need to delete the other placeholder products for this project. Delete. Great, so these products look great at this part of the site. Um, it's really coming together. I just wanna make sure that these images uh, have a better ratio. So I'm gonna click the product grid and choose settings. And on the settings, we'll go to layout and we'll try to arrange this a bit better. So there's a few product styles. You've got this one, this one, so there's different categories. I think this one's interesting. Let's try to explore this a bit like cards. And when the padding is okay, although I want to change the ratio of the image. So we'll go for a one-to-one -one image ratio. Fantastic. And image side padding will increase that to significant amount. Around 16, yeah, that looks good. All right, so from layout, we're gonna to go to design and see if we can add this background color. It's got this background color over here, but we want it to be white, I believe. Okay, the whole section has become white. We don't want that. I think this is what we want. So over here, product background, choose white. There we are. We've got the border width and color. Be nice if we can change the border style to, you know, around the corner, but I don't know if we can do that. It looks uh, which is strange. I would have thought we could sort that out. Let's see. Um, great, so I'm really happy with these product cards. Now the next section we wanna do is this featured product section on the right. Let's click the cell. And we'll choose, make sure we're clicking the image. All right, so we've got another opportunity to show off a featured image. This time I wanna try something different. I'm gonna go in and glorify and try to generate an image with AI. Take that out, paste it over here. And we're gonna go over to libraries. We'll go down to AI backgrounds. I will select that image. And I'm gonna try doing a studio effect with fire in the background. Let's see what we get. There you go, that's the image that got generated. Wow, this is incredible actually. The AI has done a fantastic job. I'm definitely gonna use that. It may have distorted the product a little bit, but overall it gets the message for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this one. Scale it down to around 1,700 is fine. Let's export that. Great, so we're gonna go back to this image, select the image, change image, and we'll upload media. This AI background generator is super ideal for e-commerce products, of course. So you don't have to create one manually or use prof you know, a professional photographer. There we are. So that's the image. Um, I wanna round the corners on this cell. Let's go ahead and do 16. 16, I 
think we've got to do it on the image. Border corners 16. Fantastic. And this title, again, I'm going to firstly drop the title all the way to the bottom. Choose a new title over here. We'll use create AI text. Do other lamps. Let's see what we get. Try that one. And then shop all. I'm going to take this button style that we had earlier and make sure that that's the button we use everywhere. And take this grid stack. That's a good thing about stack. Whenever you see stack, you can just paste things in there and it'll auto um, kind of keep things laid out and, and sort of automatic. So it kind of groups them together and creates this natural spacing. Um, so it's very ideal in that sense. So you, whenever you have stack, uh, just paste the item and then center it or position it where you want. And then you can use the, your key, arrow keys to switch them. If it's a vertical stack up and down, if it's a horizontal stack left and right. So let's type shop all here. I want to give it a bit of a drop shadow. Shadows. Customize shadow distance. Okay, I think the red, the dark red color works better with the shadow in this context kind of matches the whole image. So that's a much better choice there. Great, I'm really happy with that. That image looks good. Let's do something we haven't done yet. Let's publish the site and preview it on our actual web page. Well, not too bad, you know, it's coming along. I think this fade could be better, of course, on the menu section. These products are looking good. On hover, you can see the images switch. Got these other sections to add in, shouldn't be too hard. We can follow the same process and populate the rest of these sections. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm doing these uh, icon sections. We can just add some benefits. The cool thing about, again, when you're using these templates, the great thing about Wix's uh, shapes is that you can switch them to any shape that you want within the existing library. So simply click the shape. Uh, within the website and then go to contextual menu and click basic shape and you can search for anything you want if you can't find it you can still upload your own custom media uh, i typically use glorifies icons as i can get a consistent style so the way i do that would be all right so let me go ahead and use this icon to communicate eco-friendly scale it up and we'll add a shape container to give it a specific design let's increase the corner radius of the shape and we'll also increase the border of the shape too. So increase the thickness of the border all the way up. I'm gonna actually scale this down. Ooh, border's too thick now. There we go. Now we can scale the icon size to match the border. And we don't need the background color, of course. There we go, so there's my icon style. The great thing with Glorify as well is that you can duplicate these icons and keep the consistent uh, sort of container and just go ahead and find a different icon. So, um, long, okay, so battery, let's try like long life battery as a feature. Great, that looks matching overall. Next one, I think the only thing is we can scale this icon a bit more. Yeah, something like different modes of light or something like that. So I'll add that icon there. There we go. So here's our four feature icons. I'll select them all, export, we'll use selection. And this time we need it to be SVG and click download. Now we'll go ahead and replace them in Wix Studio. So again, picking the shape, click basic shape. We'll go to upload media. And here's our SVGs we created earlier. Add them in. All right, so let's go ahead and add these icons one by one. Easy as that. It's a great workflow using these two tools to just kind of create consistent on-brand graphics. You can see that the style looks exactly the same. It feels like it's all coming together as one style, which is what my goal was. Oops, wrong vector. Don't know if we need these extra bits of text. I think everything here kind of 
And these are repeaters, by the way. So, however, I don't think we need more of this repeater content. I'm quite happy with this as it is. And yeah, fix it over here. Great. And we've got this bit over here. Got the section. Fantastic. I think this is looking better now. Now we have this section over here. Now for this, I'm just going to use the same products images we used before. Some great ones here that we uploaded. Fantastic. Now there's some text layers here. I don't need that. I'm going to delete these text layers. I think it's overkill. It's not necessary. And we have this feature call out, which looks great. So this one we'll call AI text. We'll copy to clipboard, simply paste the text right there. For this text, let's choose a different font size. Go for body. Great. And logo again for the footer. We're pretty much done with the home page, which I'm really excited about. So let's go ahead and preview that. All right, so there we go. Here's the home page for Spacelamp. It's come together really well from a basic e-commerce wireframe template. We've come pretty far by simply customizing the content. There's one more section I want to finesse, which is the shop section. Let's go and complete that very quickly. Okay, so this looks like this product banner is not as simple to customize as I think. We have to use the settings feature. And from here, if we go to design, I believe we can achieve what we want. So there's header section. Okay, so I can't seem to customize this image over here. So what I'm going to do is go to the settings and remove the image. Yeah, much better. And for the text, we can go to text. I think the actual text over here, you have to do in the manage products section. This should take us to the e-commerce management area where if we add a category to that and add a description to the categories, we can customize that text. But I'm going to skip that for now as this is just a concept project, no doubt. In terms of the design of the e-commerce store, we've managed to completely polish it off. Uh, and of course, the only thing remaining is to actually make it a proper e-commerce website. If you got your design ready, I think within just a couple of days with some basic setup, your payment systems, your inventory systems, all of that put together, you should be able to launch an e-commerce site. So literally three days to launch an e-commerce site is mind blowing. It's honestly mind blowing. So uh, that's our site, guys. I'm really happy with it. It's unique. It's on brand. That's what I was hoping to achieve with this tutorial. Go to the shop and you can see again, all the fonts and the styles are consistent throughout the entire site is what you would expect from a high quality e-commerce site. Let's go and open these product um, pages and you can see again, here's a highlight of the product image. Of course, you should be using very high quality product images. These product images can be slightly improved. If they're a bit low resolution, what I would recommend is make them a bit smaller um, and then it would just uh, not compromise the quality. Of course, I think these, the only thing left is probably making these product images a slightly bit smaller. No doubt the best thing to do is have high quality images for sure. But as a concept project, guys, Space Lamp, you know, I'm sort of inspired to actually launch a business like this in a sense. Uh, I think you could do really well with the right marketing. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys are inspired. Even if you don't have technical skills, you don't, you're pro probably not a web designer. That's okay. Utilize this framework by starting from a template, whether it's a existing theme or a wireframe template, use the basic layout that's already pre-existing to customize the content, change the colors accordingly to your brand, apply your product imagery. If you don't have your brand set up, then use a tool 
uh, with which has templates and pre-existing assets to help you get there faster, such as Glorify, such as Canva, such as many other tools that are out there. Try those out to get your graphics and your content ready. Once you've got your basic branding, such as your color palette, your logo, and your font styles, transfer those assets as well into your Wix Studio website via Wix Studio's styles feature, thereby making sure the entire website is consistent with that particular brand style and theme running through your entire website. There's no doubt you can do that extremely fast as shown in this tutorial. You can get your design ready within a day. And from there, it's just really setting up your e-commerce store or whatever business you're running. And the best part is that with Wix and Wix Studio's ecosystem, you've got all of the business applications inbuilt out of the box. If you're creating membership sites, if you're creating an e-commerce site like this one, if you're creating a service website with you know, a call bookings management system, you've got it all inbuilt into Wix Studio. That's it for this video training. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for future videos just like this. I really had fun with this process. I hope you guys did too. And that's what building anything is all about. Building a business, building a website, building all these things and seeing it come to life is really about firstly enjoying the process before you arrive at the result. And with that guys, I hope you guys keep building. I'll see you in a future video. Bye.